sense of the river moving. These are interesting. I wonder what they are. I'll have to look them up. Some Rasula stuff, it looks like. Rasula's everywhere. There we are, looking back toward the Andover Trail Committee's pride and joy to date. And here we are looking towards yet another example. You'll soon see of what these people do when you turn them loose in the woods with dimension stock and power tools. It's as if it were the opposite of the traditional applications of such things. Another working stock storage point. The trail looking back toward the truss bridge. And here, voila, another recent wonder of community activity. This thing is beautiful. It's a consummate boardwalk. The community readily understands the value of getting people into wetlands in a manner that causes minimal disturbance to enhance our sense and appreciation of them. There you have some flood killed trees that become important habitat elements. Juvenile cattails. Jewelweed everywhere. It's the motherland of all jewelweed. Of course, there's a fair amount of purple loose strife, but what is one to do? There you see pickerel weed and arrowhead, uh, lobed oak, probably white oak, something like it, coming down with a viney tress of poison ivy. Aquatic critters are noticing my yammer and <laughs> ducking and covering. Simply wonderful wetland area brought forward to us through these efforts of a robust public land community. This is what one looks like, folks. Some kind of white flower thing down there that's pretty appealing to bees. Oh, there we are. Yes, it's quite popular with the Hymenoptera family. And this is one of the first things that will greet you when you begin to follow the trail that lays at your feet at the edge of the Ballard Vale commuter rail parking lot. Just stunning. And this is where you enter. A short hop from the Ballard Vale train stop. And Vale Reservation awaits.